Sup everyone, Dontadlin 2015 here. And welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here since the beginning, all I can say is, thanks. And now, let's start the video. Hello everyone, this is Dontadlin 2015 here, and welcome to Thursday Frights. Today, I'm reacting to, True Homeless Horror Story Animated, made by Wincy Entertainment. That's the recent one. Anyway, for 2023. Guys, go check this out for yourself. Link in the description. If you already have, then let's get this video started. Here we go, guys. I still can't forget that day. 12 years ago, I lived as a homeless person during some period in my 20s. What the hell did you do? Why the hell were you homeless? Well, guys, I mean, I don't blame you, guys. I have a confirmation why he was homeless, guys. His parents, his parents died, guys. He lived with his parents for a while, guys, but they died in some accident, guys. And he was homeless because of it. It was a time when I used to walk the streets and survive on a single loaf of bread. Wow, just one loaf of bread? Wow, guys. I could, guys, if I was old, guys, I probably wouldn't even survive. Uh, guys, I probably wouldn't even survive a week, guys. One day, I was sleeping on the street and had a strange dream. In the dream, a monster with a hundred eyes was running towards me. I woke up screaming as the monster came right in front of me. It was a dark morning, and as my eyes began to adjust to the darkness... Holy shit, what the hell is that right there? I realized that a stranger was standing right in front of me. I was so startled. Then he came right up to my nose and started groping my face with his hand. I shouted, asking what he was doing being astonished. Then he stopped, put his palms together, and chanted strange incantations as he walked backwards. I can't remember clearly, but I think he said something like this. The visible world is fake. He was dressed like a monk and was walking with his eyes closed. That's really weird, guys. I was so horrified but was so tired and hungry that I didn't even have the energy left to do anything. So I just slept again. However, the next day I overheard other homeless people talking to each other. Is everyone okay? Everyone? Guys, only, guys, you know, there's not that many people homeless guys in this area, guys. I live in New Jersey, guys. We all have houses. I think we're fine. Fortunately, everyone seems to have blocked it well. I asked them what they were talking about, and they told me something shocking. The story was that someone unknown was coming every night and secretly plucking out the eyeballs of homeless people. Holy sh- holy fuck. That's messed up, guys. Who does something like that? It was the so-called eyeball hunter. As soon as I heard that, I was shocked and stopped breathing for a moment because it seemed to me that he was the person I saw in the morning. Then I found out why so many homeless people here had no eyes. I was overwhelmed with too much fear, but it is rumored that he didn't kill anyone. One day, Okay, but did he get arrested for this? He plucked out the eyeballs of a homeless man, and the homeless man shouted that he would rather be killed. But the eyeball hunter left, saying that it was his principle not to kill humans. My whole body trembled hearing that. At that time, if I had only woken up three seconds later, I couldn't even imagine what would have happened. Only then did I find out why the homeless there were staying vigil every night. I've always thought that they were on watch, not to be deprived of food. But I didn't know it was actually to protect their eyes. Since then, I decided to join a group of homeless people because I couldn't sleep on my own. And I was able to stay safe for a while, keeping a night watch in the group. Ah! Then one day, early in the morning, 
I heard a loud scream. Oh my god, guys, did he, did he get someone's eyes? Everyone woke up, but one homeless man was rolling around, putting his hands over his eyes. There was blood all over his face and on the floor. And I saw the back of the monk who was running at a tremendous speed in the distance. There is an eyeball hunter. I could hear people shouting and buzzing. We hurriedly called an ambulance and he was taken away. It turned out that the person who was on night watch fell asleep for a while and it happened in the middle of it. We reported it to the police. I was really terrified and felt that I couldn't stay there any longer. I tried desperately to get out of there. So, what happened after that, guy? Did the guy get arrested, guys, for his crime? Finally able to end my homeless life, I rented a small house and started my new life. After some time passed, I visited the homeless people I was close with. They welcomed me, and according to what they said, they heard that the eyeball hunter was caught by the police. And the eyeball hunter said to the police as follows. It is only after human beings see the world through their eyes that prejudices and sins arise. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Only when you are not deceived by appearances do you know the true meaning of life. That is why I remove people's eyes That's so why. that they can truly become enlightened. He that is the reason why, guys, is that messed up? believed it would save people, and he had no eyes either. It was self-removed. Guys, there is only one way we can save people, guys. End world hunger, guys. Or maybe stop Putin. Put maybe just hunt down Putin and kill him already, guys. Jeez, do you want World War Three happening, guys? February 2022, guys, got us on the brink of World War Three. However, he said that he can see the world through his it? third eye called Chakra, after long practice, even though he has no eyes. How he sees is still a mystery, and I suddenly remembered one thing. On the day he first appeared in front of me, the black plastic bag he was holding in his hand, the bag contained several round-shaped objects. I thought it was just fruit or something, but I just found out what those things were. I'm still suffering from insomnia every day. He's in prison, but for some reason I keep thinking he's likely to break into my house. Now I sleep with my glasses on every day because I feel like I can protect my eyes by doing this. I want to get out of this fear as soon as possible. If only I could erase him from my memory. Oh my god, guys. That is one scary horror story, guys. If I, if something like this happened in real life, guys, like, to me, I'd grab a knife and kill him, guys. But, guys, I want to know what, like, I want to put myself in the person's shoes. Oh, so I can figure out what happened, guys. Literally. And I wasn't even, I, heck, I don't even think I was going to sleep tonight anyway, guys. I wasn't planning on it anyway, guys. But anyway, that's it for today's video. So at this time, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and make sure you all comment, like, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and comment, like, if you're new. And be sure you guys go ahead and follow me on social media, guys. I'm only three followers away from 100 followers, guys. I, it would, I would really appreciate if you get me to 100 followers. I'll follow you back on Twitter. And the 100th follower will get a shout-out in, in one of my videos. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Keep it awesome, my team. Goodbye.